We got memes, updates, and more. We got things you ain't never seen before. So pop your clovers, pop a squat. New episodes of Realm Review are now in stock. Every Friday, something new. R E A L M R E B I E W. So if you don't know what to do, R E A L M R E B I E W. Decca, check out my fan art. Right? Not bad. If we're using fan art, come on. What's up, guys? It is Friday, and that means it's time for another episode of Realm Review, where we look at the top posts of the week on r slash ROTMG. Saturn's art is being used as the new loading screen. <laughs> Man, that that looks great. I'm so glad that, that DECA is doing that. Props to them for recognizing just a great a great piece of art and utilizing it. Hopefully they got permission or or something, or he got some kind of compensation. But look at this. This is something I found really funny. This post is uh, is about how Decca is using it, and it has 965 upvotes. the The second post of the week is by the actual guy who made it, the actual artist, Saturn 51, and it has fewer upvotes. So the guy who who said the same joke but louder got got more upvotes than the uh, the original poster, which is just hilarious. But seriously, this is a great. Uh, piece of art and I'm so glad that DECA is interacting with the community and showing that they're paying attention oh man that's cool I love the the way it changes I hadn't seen that before that should be the loading screen damn tight POV T6 mace summoners fighting an ant ancient <laughs> The bears. There's just going to be bears and animals everywhere. I've already noticed that since the summoner came out. There's just animals all over the screen. And it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of confusing. But I'm sure as we get more used to the summoner, it, w it won't be so distracting. And, and there will probably be fewer summoners out and about once the newness of the class has kind of worn off. I almost missed this jug. Wait. Where is it? <laughs> Is it? Oh my gosh, it's behind the... that purple bag. I'm so paranoid about doing this because I've seen the posts on, on Reddit about missing the jug. That I, I like circle around like three times at least after a hermit god dies. Just to make sure I didn't leave anything behind. And on it, even though I've done that every time, I'm still paranoid that I've left one. Can you imagine losing a god tier in-game night just because an automatic alert from a successful tax payment caused a two-second screen stutter? Pfft. Ha! Only a noob would let that happen. Oh. Ouch. I've almost had the stuff like this happen, like Norton Antivirus or something stupid will pop up and be like, Hey, just wanted to make sure uh, yeah, the, that you knew that you had Norton, even though you installed it like a year ago. Hope you weren't doing any anything important. It's always when you're like when you're watching a movie or playing a game full screen. That's when it decides. Oh, now is the time to pop up and ask about this random setting I've never interacted with before. I feel your pain. Okay, <laughs> flashback to the days of Flash. Uh, I would play in browser, and for some reason on Firefox, if you right clicked like within the realm of the Mad God screen it would just freeze your whole game. You couldn't input any moves, your character would freeze, and the shots would still happen, but you couldn't move at all. And so the only way to fix it, the, qu the quickest way to fix it I knew of, was to just have another tab open, and you just switch to that tab real quick, and then switch back, and then you can <laughs> you can move again. But uh, no, it wouldn't let you move until after you did that. And, I, and you had to right click all the time for teleports and trades and stuff. And it was crazy. And oh, the worst was like if you accidentally did it while you're trying to rush or something and then you're just frozen, you have to switch tabs real quick. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> there are a lot of things I don't miss about Flash. Yo, Dr. Terrible kind of looks like Walter White. I never noticed that before. What do y'all think? I think it's just the goggles and the mustache. If he was just bald... <laughs> That would be a cool dungeon. We never know what he was cooking in that mad lab. We just assumed it was like mystical potions and stuff. 
Just found a super rare blueprint in OT. Oh my god. I don't think I can even read that on YouTube. Oh man. What is our obsession with Thessal? You know what? I think... Hot take right here. I think Bilgewater is going to be the next Thessal and the next thing that everyone fangirls over, you know? <laughs> he's the next, uh, he's the next character that everyone's going to be, uh, going to be thirsty for. Damn not doodle. Damn. Okay. Now, I like this. This is a different style than the other guy, but man, it's freaking cool. Now, what if this was the loading screen somewhere? That would be so cool if they just had, like, the loading screens were just alternating pieces of fan art from the, the subreddit. Oh, let's read this. This is going to be wholesome. Returning player since 2012. Just want to say thanks. As a returning player of almost 10 years, with the release of Steam, my expectations were just to get some nostalgia and move on. But what I found was not really the game itself, but the community. Rarely do I stumble across a game with such a friendly community to new players or in general. Within my first 20 hours of the game, I've randomly gotten traded several tier 11 and several pots. Not asking for it, just hey, let me trade you some stuff. As uh, such, I've come to join a guild and the kindness and generosity continues. This combined with great game has found a home in my Steam catalog as something to stay. I will embrace this and try to give back to the community. And with that said, big thanks to you all. You love to see it, Jell Quat. If I see you in game, I'll be sure and trade you something. <laughs> no, I remember when I first started playing the game. That was one of the coolest things, was just getting some free handouts from a, from a white star. And not asking for it, of course. Not begging. That's a, a whole different story. But just people coming over to help you out. And I've done that a few times. I, I should do it more. Problem is, hardly anything that's worth trading is tradable. And you also, you never know if someone's just on a new account or whatever. You don't want to insult someone who's just doing a new account experience by offering them like a, a tier 10 staff or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, it is it is a nice thing. I loved it when I was a, a new player and I love I love giving out giving out stuff now that I'm, a, I guess, an older player now. Gosh, here's the crazy idea. Change server. Hey, who would have thought of that? Oh, my God. There's times every time I Nexus in U.S. West. For, no, U.S. West 3. Yeah, it would, it would give me this and there would be no option to change server and there'd be the quit would pop up for half a second. And then it would start trying to reload again, and it, you were just stuck. You had to just go in freaking Task Manager and close it. It's such a problem. What an idea. Thank you, Aether Romer, for uh, pointing out what should have been obvious, but apparently isn't, so thank you. I started a PPE this morning with my friend. He chose Warrior. Oh, he got a Juggernaut Blueprint. Do blueprints count for PPE? That is a great question. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do blueprints count for PPE? I mean, if you get it on that PPE, I could see where you say it would, but then what are you going to forge power? Like if you if you use forge power from your gift chest, or if you use UT items you got on another character uh, to forge with, is that really a PPE? I think I would accept it if you used only white bags that you'd earned on that PPE with blueprints that you've earned on that PPE. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Realm Review. Let me know in the comments. Do blueprints count for PPEs? Like and sub for more Realm content, and take care.